Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about yet another artificial intelligence feature which is released by GitHub Copilot, which we can use along with Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio or whatever IDE that you like it. And if you have been following lately, GitHub Copilot is giving a lot of freebies these days. You can use GitHub Copilot for free and you can also use all the features which the paid version users really get. And you can also try out the GitHub Copilot with a lot of different models, like not just the OpenAI's uh, GPT model, but you can also use Claude Anthropic or any other model, even Google Gemini for that matter. And in this video, we'll be talking about one of the another new feature which released like a couple of days before which is called as github copilot's edit feature and this is quite amazing and this is an answer to one of the tool that i talked about lately which is called as the client of uh, visual studio copilot uh, plugin which you can use as an agent to run or even edit the code for you and even uh, ensure that it can also uh, give an output for you by using the model context protocol of the anthropic cloud and those things are something which was very restrictive to cloud anthropic you can't really use gemini or probably gpt model for that matter because mcp really works pretty well with the cloud anthropic model but over here with the github copilot's edit feature you can use any model of your choice and then you can make sure that you can perform the similar operation which client does that for you so you can see that it says that use github copilot to start an AI powered code editing session and iterate quickly on the code changes across multiple files by using natural languages. And the GitHub edit applies to uh, edit directly in the editor where you can uh, review them in place with a full context and surrounding code. And also the edit actually has got two modes which is very very interesting which I wanted to show you. One is the edit mode, another one is the agent mode. Edit mode is pretty much similar to what the uh, usual uh, code editing does for you. Uh, like you can use GitHub Copilot and it is gonna uh, suggest you the code changes uh, in, a, in the chat panel and then you can hit the insert and it is gonna add that uh, changes for you uh, in the code space. But over here, the edit mode, it will also create a file for you or edit the existing file for you and it will replace contents like on the fly. That is the edit mode uh, for that matter. And it is pretty much what client offers as well. And the even more better feature which this uh, GitHub Copilot's edit feature offers is the agent mode. This is very interesting because it says that it lets the Copilot autonomously plan the task and relevant files that needs to implement the request. This is pretty much exactly what the client does as well. If you remember, I was showing you the client.bot, it will help you uh, do what is called as an planning and act operation. That's exactly what this uh, agent also does for you. And GitHub Copilot will apply the code edit and suggest the terminal commands, you know, also continuously iterate to resolve any issue if that arises. This is pretty cool and insane. And again, this agent mode is only available with the VS Code Insider. So you need to have Visual Studio Code Insider and you also need to have the setting called as chat.agent.enable uh, as true. Only then it can uh, you can run the agent mode for that matter. So I'm going to quickly show you how I actually made use of this uh, particular GitHub Copilot edit option and see how I can generate the end-to-end -end test using Playwright. And also I executed the test uh, for my application. So I'm going to go and run an uh, application. I will show you what this application really does. You can see that this is a simple uh, or maybe very super simple application, which is going to be running uh, with the local host of 3000. So let me just uh, local host of uh, 3000. This is the application, it's a to-do React application. So you can just do all these things and you show active, completed, and all of these. And then you can also uncheck and maybe you can add some more to-do uh, items from there or things of that nature. So this is what this application is really. So you got the idea, right? And now I wanted to write an end to end test for this particular application. So how do I actually do that? I can either choose Cypress or I can also choose Playwright, but I can explicitly say this uh, this Copilot edit to go and write a Playwright test for me uh, for the end-to-end -end testing operation. And you can see that I have already got this uh, GitHub Copilot plugin enabled over here. It's a free version. I have not really used any paid version for that matter. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So basically, if you're gonna be working on the end-to-end uh, -end testing or uh, if you're gonna be working on a specific file, you can also go to this edit option over here, go and hit add the file, and choose which file you think that uh, can be relevant for the AI um, agent to go and find uh, what a code that it needs to generate for your application under test. So I think these files are quite relevant for my application 
uh, to generate uh, the test itself uh, so that uh, I can run the test against it. So I have selected those files over here. Maybe there are even more files which I don't even know, uh, which I really need it or not. I'll see that I have already tried before, uh, like how I can run the test. Uh, there we go. We don't even need all these things. I was doing it before you guys join in. Uh, there we go. Let's delete all of them. We don't even need any of these, even the test. Let's remove all of these. So you say that I don't even have any of the test folders or anything for that matter. It's just plain empty application side of things. And now I'm going to say uh, write uh, end to end test using uh, Playwright for my uh, application to do. So we'll see what's going to happen. You see that GitHub Copilot now immediately uh, going to go and start generating the plan and then it is starting to create the test file for me well, look at that this is the player.config.js file which is required for the player to execute uh, and it is already there so i'm gonna hit accept it looks pretty good to me and then now it is creating a main test file for me to do the to-do operation or the to-do test operation so this is the to-do.spec.js file so it has added the playwright test, amazing. And also added the test or describe. So basically it's using the playwright test runner uh, to do that operation. Uh, so there is a test or before operation and there is the test method, which is gonna just do the test operation there. Um, and it's also doing a test or should toggle do completion. So there are a couple of tests being added. Should the add new to do item which means it's adding operation and then it's also toggling the completion operation and then it is also doing a filter test operation uh, which is over here uh, and also it's doing a search operation look at that it has did almost every single uh, uh, single scenarios for me which is required for my testing uh, of the application and once i hit accept and once i save this entire files over here now it's telling me that uh, uh, this playwright uh, dependencies, you need to be first of all installing it over there and then you need to run the npx uh, playwright install command to do it, uh, to do it for you um, or, and then finally you need to run this particular command over here. You see that it's all telling you uh, there. It also tells me that it has also um, uh, giving me a suggestion that you can add this script playwright test uh, like end-to-end -end test over there in the package.json file uh, which can be useful f while you run the test from the uh, npm script from here you can do that as well maybe i can just try to ask if the this operation can be done by this um, by this edit as well so i'm gonna say uh, can you please add the package.json with the above settings to run playwright test and i'm gonna do that let's see what is gonna basically happen uh look at that so it says that i will help you update the package.json file to include playwright test configuration and dependencies there you go that's pretty insane it's already did all of these for me it also added the dependencies for me over there and that looks pretty cool so I'm gonna hit accept it. There you go, look at that. So it's all just natural language, guys. It's all just happening for me over there. And now it's telling me that the script is, uh, I mean, the, the things are being added over there. Uh, it's asking me that you need now need to install the dependencies and then you need to install the Playwright browser if it's required and then you need to run this particular command. So I'm gonna go uh, open a terminal over there uh, and I'm gonna hit the npm install command. So look at that. This is the first time I'm just gonna uh, use the same uh, operation which is suggested by this tool and I'm gonna do the install operation over there so let's see what is really gonna happen there we go installation is done uh, and then probably I already have the playwright in my machine so I'm just gonna run this particular command the end to end test and I'm gonna hit enter and now look at that the moment I do it now the test is actually starting to run for me over there like running four tests using one worker and it is running the test for me there this is quite amazing guys this is already doing all these operations for me using the github copilot's edit operation i have not even written even single line of code all these tests are written by me i mean written by this github copilot for me and it's all just working fine without any problem i know the test is just failing for one of them but you see that the couple of tests are already passing don't worry about those things. I mean, these are simple fix. I mean, you can fix that as well much, much easily uh, with the agent mode, which is what I'm going to be talking about next. So what is this agent mode once again? Again, as I told you, agent mode in Visual Studio Code with the GitHub Copilot requires you to have uh, the Visual Studio Code Insider uh, build. So I think I have the uh, Insider version over here. 
and this is the test that we have been uh, working uh, right now so we have got all these tests and all those things pretty cool and now let's see if i can uh, do the exact same kind of similar operation uh, but also uh, let the agent to run the things for me right so yeah there we go that's all done i'm just going to leave the or maybe i'm just going to close the visual studio code which i don't even need right now i'm going to be using the what is called as the insider version of the visual studio code this time and over here i'm going to say um can you try running the tests uh and see why they are failing i mean i failed many times using this particular command it didn't really worked out quite well but you see that this this particular uh, Visual Studio code with this particular agent mode enabled over here. You see that I have got this agent mode instead of the edit mode this time. If I say agent mode, now I can give the ability to the GitHub Copilot pilot agent to perform the operation on behalf of me. So I don't have to go and copy paste the command and then type it from the terminal. Those things are going to be taken care of by the agent itself. And it is going to relentlessly work to make sure that the test can uh, get past uh, instead of me trying to figure out why they're failing look at that now it is i'm just hitting the continue button and now it is running the command for me on the terminal in behalf of me uh, i mean on behalf of me and now it is running them uh, on the terminal over there and now the test obviously is going to fail for the first time uh, and the second and third test are going to pass and i think fourth is going to fail as well but now while it fails this github copilot agent is going to go and figure out why the test has got failed and what could be done in order to resolve that particular test for me. This is pretty insane, right? I have done nothing over here. All of these operations are going to be taken care by the GitHub Copilot agent using the edit operation. And this is quite insane, guys. It's all going to be taken care for you with free of cost using the GitHub Copilot free version as I talked about. So that that is the one of the features that i wanted to show you today the github copilot's edit operation which is making things even more simpler it is not just for the testing purpose i mean i'm just showing the testing side of things for you but you can use the same github copilot agent uh, features and the edit features uh, along with your application development or even writing scenarios or even manual testing scenarios these things are going to be really really uh, mind blowing because now we have the ability not just about you know copy pasting the code from uh, our terminal and pasting it into uh, a chat window and then asking the question or suggestion based on that but now we are going beyond the asking the questions like manually but the agent now has full control of our source code editing the code adding the test running the test on behalf of us making our life even more and more simpler I don't know if I'm saying simpler because it's now taking more of our job already and doing all of things by itself. And what if these things are going to be fused with a with a continuous integration, continuous delivery platform? Then things are going to be even more. Um, I don't know how it's going to be because it's going to be once the developer checks in the code, there's going to be a middleman agent which is going to do the code analysis and generate the test for you, run the test for you, and produce the result and even analyze the result whether this is really matching the requirement traceability matrix and then give the suggestion or maybe uh, the way to improve the test and then again running one more agent to add more improvement to the test and then delivering the application to the uh, to the pipeline uh, and deploying the application in the production think of this kind of things is going to happen pretty cool uh, pretty soon in future if that happens i'm not sure whether we are going to be sitting over here in the desk and starting to write the test for us uh, I mean, I have no idea how these things are going to be uh, going to happen in future. But things are really, really going in that way. I mean, it's all, as you can see over here, it's all leading to that uh, completely autonomous fashion so that we human being have very, very less things to do while the agent is going to do everything for us on our behalf. Just let me know your thoughts about these things, guys, like how these things are really uh, going on and how you see this is going to lead in the future. But once again, this agent is not really working as you can see over here, it's still running things in command. I know this agent is still in preview mode, but once these things get matured, whatever that you are seeing over here, like an error, these things are going to be fixed by the agent for you and you will have a working solution as well. This is pretty insane guys already. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have a great day.